initiating startup sequence. Have a great meeting. Hello everyone and welcome to the QSC conference room experience. When an end user steps into a room like this, their goals are relatively straightforward. To have a productive, engaging communication. That's it. That means that our goal as manufacturers and your goal as integrators, consultants, and system administrators is to facilitate that communication in a proactive, intuitive, and almost transparent way. For instance, the ideal conference room should be smart enough to know when people are in the room and automatically set the room for your meeting, right? But I can tell the door is still open, so we must not be ready to start. Once everybody is in the room and you're ready to start, can one of the participants just close the door so we can get started? Just anybody in the room, just, I know you just sat down, get up, close the door so we can get started. Door closed. Voila! The entire room can automatically configure itself to suit your upcoming meeting. We're adjusting the lighting, lowering the shades, configuring displays, firing up the room audio, the microphones, and more. Let's start with a few introductions. My name is Patrick Hine. And I'm Nate McCarrick. Would one of you seated by a microphone please tell us your name? State your name nice and clearly in three, two, one. Iron Man. Great. Well, it is very nice to meet you. Iron Man. And we'd like to spend the next 10 minutes telling you about the QSIS ecosystem. In fact, let's put a 10 minute timer on the desk display and dive right in. The best way to provide an exceptional conference experience for your end user is to start with a native solution. That means a system designed specifically to work together, but also allows enough flexibility to easily integrate third-party devices. And at the heart of the QSIS ecosystem is the core processor, which you can see in the back of the room. Right here. The QSIS core is an integrated audio, video, and control processor, as opposed to a bunch of separate systems that need to be programmed to talk to each other. In fact, this Core 110F below me is controlling every bit of audio, video, and control automation for this demo. Speaking of intelligent design, let's do a quick roll call of the native QSIS devices in this room. Let's start with the touchscreen controllers that you use to control your meeting. We have one on the back wall next to me, and another one right there on the table. We use the QSIS UCI Editor, a simple drag and drop GUI creator to completely customize the function and the aesthetic of that interface. This UCI Editor becomes even more powerful if you need to push global style changes on multiple screens throughout the building by enlisting the common programming language of CSS. I'm gonna ask Iron Man to go ahead and select a new style from the options on the touchscreen on the table and press done when you're ready to proceed. You'll see three different buttons for three different styles. So just go ahead and just pick one, any of those. Yeah, cycle through them really quick. See if you like one. Maybe you've integrated rooms of one of those three customers, so you want to take a look at that. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a um, there's a, a financial institution and there's a, 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 a internet startup. And a, financial. Um, a, a, like a great job. You've selected the financial executive boardroom. This is a representation of money. In fact, this is a great opportunity to talk about loudspeakers. Hello. 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 Hello, Hello Amsterdam. Amsterdam. You are listening to, of course, QSC amplifiers and loudspeakers, which perform even better when paired with the QSC ecosystem. That's because we're able to apply custom QSC voicings from the QSC core to the QSC loudspeakers. Next, we move on to native QSIS conference cameras. There is one right in front. And one in the back. Each QSIS PTZ camera delivers crisp 1080p video, which we deliver to the soft codec application of your choice. That could be Zoom, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, Skype for Business, you name it. You can see our soft codec app running right here. These network cameras replace long runs of HDMI and cumbersome USB extensions by using a single Cat5 for those long hauls, and then delivering AV to your PC via a QSIS USB endpoint. Go ahead and use the touchscreen to toggle between the two camera sources and reposition them. Again, your integrator's job is easy because these camera controls are drag and drop in QSIS with no programming required. Once you're happy with the camera positions, press the done button to proceed. So you can zoom in on a person or something stationary in the room, yeah, you see the quality of the camera. Yeah, pick a friend, zoom in. Pretty easy, right? All that without a separate control processor or HDMI router. Now let's talk about video content. 
Most meetings require that you share video content with the rest of the room. Again, you want to avoid that long run of a point-to-point -point HDMI cable. Instead, we use the network for that transport and place an NV series video endpoint close to the displays and the sources. You'll see one right there on the desk in front of you. You may notice multiple HDMI inputs and outputs on that device. It's completely software definable as either an encoder or a decoder, which makes it very, very flexible. Let's put it to use, Iron Man. Would you please plug that laptop on the table into the NV series with the HDMI cable to share your content with the whole room? Just grab the, the HDMI cable that's right there on the table and plug it into the laptop that's also already there on the table. Just use your, use your hands and- HDMI detected. That's all it takes to transport your laptop video content over the network to that display. And because QSIS video is networked, it's no longer point to point. You can transport that video to any NV series enabled display in your system. Let's also talk about the image quality of the NV series, managed by the QSIS Shift codec. This adaptive codec provides crystal clear visuals for PowerPoint and spreadsheets, like this screen over here, with extreme efficiency. Check out the bitrate stats on the touchscreen on the table. However, you don't sacrifice quality when it comes to full motion video, like this screen. The codec simply adapts the bitrate usage automatically based on the content. So, now that we've shown you all the native components of our system, let's take a look at how to integrate non-native devices. If you look back here, you'll see an Aterotech C1 wall controller that's controlling the background music. This is an Aterotech by QSE brand product. Usually, you wouldn't mount one right next to a touchscreen like we have, but we want to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of how a non-native device like the C1 interacts with a native QSYS device. I need a volunteer, so guess what? It's gonna be you, Iron Man. Get up and use the C1's rotary knob to make gain adjustments or routing adjustments to this awesome background music. You'll notice that these changes are also tracking on the nearby touchscreen, which we are also showing on the table screen for those of you that are still sitting. When you're finished, go ahead and press the mute on the rotary to completely mute everything. Or, uh, or I can just sit here and rock out to this background music until you get tired. So go ahead and get up and press that rotary button in so that we can end our misery and move on with the presentation. Or I could just dance. I'm gonna dance. Here it comes. This one is called the Trade Show Shuffle. This one is called Stand Too Long in Line for Lunch. So I can mute it for everybody and end our misery. Audio muted. Good job. The QSIS ecosystem also makes it easy to integrate and control other third-party devices like lighting, HVAC, shade controls, and more. For instance, in this room, we're using a simple GPIO to trigger the shade motor uh, or the LEDs on the tabletop mics. We're also using a QSIS plugin to control things like the LED lighting via DMX. Feel free to make any adjustments using the tabletop touchscreen. Additionally, your programmer can engage our full-featured scripting engine using Lua, a standard programming language to control just about any third-party device. Let's say you really cared about conference room etiquette, and you really want everyone to use coasters for their coffee cups. Go ahead, I dare you to not use the coaster on that coffee mug. I dare you. I dare you to grab that coffee mug and move it off of the coaster. That alarm means your coffee cup is off the coaster. What is wrong with you? You're gonna leave a ring on the table. Quick, put the coffee cup back on the coaster. Quick, quick, put the coffee cup on the coaster. We need to use coasters in this office. Put the coffee cup back on the coaster to stop this alarm. This is the alarm that you're a terrible person who doesn't- Coaster detected. Okay, so maybe that wasn't such a practical application, but that was an example of us controlling RFID devices. I think you get it, the sky's the limit with QSIS. Last but not least, you wanna know that your IT team has your back when you walk into your meeting room. This 
is the dashboard for the QSIS Reflect Enterprise Manager, which lets you remotely monitor and manage the health of your AV systems across your entire enterprise and ultimately minimize your AV support costs. Now, that monitoring includes native QSIS devices and third-party devices. And it actually appears that there's a problem in the system. See, you see that red light? That means that one of your devices is missing. When Enterprise Manager detects this, it could send an email to your IT administrator to correct it. And guess what? Iron Man. That's you. If you look in the back of the room, you'll see a third-party network video switcher that is currently unplugged from the network. Simply plug that back in to get the system back up and running. You'll see a, 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 just a Cat5 cable back there, and on the back of the, uh, the switcher is a, is a port, so just plug it back in. Should take about five seconds or so. Yeah. Device restored. Take a look. Enterprise Manager shows that this device is healthy again, and it also means that your meeting is going to run more smoothly now. Well, we hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the QSC Conference Room experience. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask your host because they're real. Yeah. Bye. Bye.